Yo, what's going on, Five Nine friends? Welcome back to your weekly dose of gotcha news. I'm one of your hosts, Iron Kane, and this week we'll be talking about new pre registration announcements for Global, a couple of cool collaborations, and more. As always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave the vid a like and subscribe to stay in the know of everything we do here at Five Nine. Also, let us know in the comments what gotcha games coming out you are most looking forward to and what you had for breakfast today, because why not? I'm, I'm curious. Anyways, let's get right into this week's news. Kano Suba Fantastic Days is now available for pre-registration, except the game isn't doing the traditional campaign where you register and get some in-game rewards. Instead, it's more like a contest to win some physical goodies. If you go on the official website and sign up with your email, you'll be entered to win one of the three available tiers of prizes. There'll be four total winners for the first tier, which comes with a Megumin figurine and Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Earbuds. The second will have six winners that also gives the earbuds, along with either the Megumin or Aqua Winter figurine. And lastly, the third tier will have 18 winners, which will reward you with either one of the two figurines from the second tier minus the earbuds. I've signed up myself and I'd be really happy to be one of the first tier winners because that Megami figurine looks pretty sick. And hey, who couldn't use another pair of earbuds? By the way, in case you didn't know, although the game will be in English, the voice acting will be in Japanese with subtitles. So if you're looking forward to hearing the dub actors reprise their roles, unfortunately, that won't be the case. But obviously, the Japanese voices are just fine, if not better. So no worries there. Kanasuba Fantastic Days is currently up for pre-registration for both Android and iOS devices with no confirmed release date at this time. But with registration being now available, it should only be a matter of time until a date is announced. We now know the official release date of Honkai Impact 3rd's collaboration with Genshin Impact 4 Global. The crossover event will start tomorrow on July 9th. As a reminder, in case you don't know what's coming, Fischl from Genshin will be making an appearance as a playable character along with introducing a new bow class to Honkai. And she won't be alone. Kei Ching will also be a playable character and from the looks of the trailer, her moveset seems to be very flashy. The only catch with Kei Ching though is that she'll only be playable temporarily in some stages. Beyond that, players can acquire a Klee skin and even one for Paimon. Also, I want to note that you'll get official supply cards and a Paimon emblem just by signing in. So if you're at all interested in the event, you might as well sign in just to nab these freebies. Honkai Impact 3rd is available for PC, Android, and iOS devices with the Genshin Impact collaboration launching on July 9th. It was announced from the game's official Discord that Girl Cafe Gun will be getting a global release. As far as when, we're not entirely sure, but we do know that it's coming. Girl Cafe Gun is literally what the title suggests, and I like that. It gets it's the point. It's described as an RPG shooting game, and it doesn't lie. As you can see from the gameplay, you really are just running around with anime girls shooting things. In battles, you have a team of three characters. Each girl has their own unique ability and HP bar, with an overall bar displaying your team's energy. Now, you may be wondering where the cafe portion of the game's title is shown. Well. Don't worry, it's safe for summoning. As you can tell by Troco censoring, the game has a lot of fan service. So if you're into that, it's uh, it's there. And not to mention the animations are pretty stylized. If you'd like to get a more detailed look at the game, Nolar and Troco did a video on the channel a little bit ago. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. Girl Cafe Gun is available on Android and iOS devices for JP and CN with the global version coming in the near future. If you remember in a previous episode, we reported that Sword Art Online Memory Defrag will be shutting down on August 30th. And although that is still the case, fans of the game will be happy to hear that there is still a way to play the game post shutdown. After the service for Memory Defrag officially ends on the 30th, a new offline version of the game will be up for download on your mobile device's respective app store. And in terms of what will be available on the offline version, Players can still do quests, replay the story, and look at character illustrations, with about 60 units being pre-selected for the offline version already. If you'd like to see the official announcement from the developers themselves, please look in the description below. Sword Art Online Memory Defrag is available on Android and iOS devices until the 30th of August, with an online version launching after the online version ends. A new trailer for an upcoming mobile title called The Irregular at Magic High School Reloaded Memory just released three days ago. Loaded Memory is described 
as a free-to-play magic battle RPG with microtransactions. You know, the usual gotcha stuff. The game is a mobile adaptation of the anime, The Irregular at Magic High School, and will cover the plot of the series with full-length voice acting as well. Not only that, there will even be original story content that will be supervised by the series' creator. The game is being developed by Square Enix and appears to be very polished based on the snippet of gameplay they showed off. Currently, there's no word of an exact release date at this time, or if any other versions will come out besides JP. But if you're interested, the regular at Magic High School Reloaded Memory is available for pre-registration on JP for Android and iOS devices. The global version of the Alchemist Code will be receiving a collaboration with That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. The crossover event will launch tomorrow on the 9th and will conclude on the 28th of this month. With the launch of the event, players will have the opportunity to obtain Slime Rimuru just by logging in with Rimuru Tempest, Milom Nava, and Benny Maru being seminal units. Also, by logging in during the collaboration, players can get goodies like 300 Crystal Apples, 150 Rainbow Ingots, 2 Rare Equipment, 10 Summon Tickets, and more. Speaking of equipment, there will be brand new equips to collect for the crossover as well like Rimuru's Sword of Tempest, Milam's Cape, and Benny Morrow's Katana. If you'd like to participate in the Alchemist Code's collaboration with that time I got reincarnated as a slime, the game and its crossover event are available for both Android and iOS devices on Global. And for my last story, Metal Slug Commander is now available for pre-registration for Global. The game features the series' classic roles, scenes, and music, but this time with a twist. Metal Slug Commander's gameplay moves away from the jumping and shooting of the older games and instead opts for two-line strategy battles similar to Counterside. In battles, characters will have their traditional 2D sprites, but will also have animated art as well. The game boasts to have easy-to-learn controls, so if you'd like to tackle another two-line strategy-like game or give your first one a try, why not give this game a whirl? Metal Slug Commander is available for Android and iOS devices on Global. Before I go, I just wanted to thank everyone who watched and supported our first impressions video on Mega Man X Dive. I had a lot of fun working on it. If you haven't checked it out already, please do. The game is in early access right now, and I'd recommend it to anyone looking for a new gacha or anyone just a fan of platformers. Anyways, that's it for me. Time to throw it to my homie Sly to close this out. Take it away, man. Gracias, mi amigo. Let's wrap up this news before the weather shuts me down for the day. I'm sure most of you have heard of Fairytale or Eden Zero. The creator, Hiro Mishima, has created the characters and world setting for a new mobile game called Gate of Nightmares. This game is being developed by Square Enix and has a closed beta running until July 12th. With the production cooperation of Kodansha, Gate of Nightmares is a completely new RPG. The game is set in Remarias, a world that mixes the real world with people's dreams. The story centers on Emma, a nightwalker who can summon monsters from nightmares, and Azel, a boy whose existence attracts these monsters. Next up is Puzzle and Dragons. The next event called Diamonds in the Sky has begun. Do you like free stuff? Do you like free summon currency? Well, this is the perfect event for you as all players receive 55 magic stones upon first login. With this event comes the next story chapter for the next Chinese goddess, Mei Mei. Complete this story chapter to get the exclusive evolution material needed to evolve Damu Guardian Gembu Mei Mei, or the Woodlight variant into the new Rocking Gembu Princess Meimei form. This new evolution coincides with the rerun of Pad Academy. Units such as Academy Valeria, Academy Kali, and Squirrel Girl Isis make their return along with other units. With this rerun, Isis has gained a brand new reincarnated evolution form. For this event, Academy Sakya makes her return to the Monster Point Exchange Shop for 300,000 Monster Points. Ever heard of Bleach? If you have, then you might be interested to hear that Valkyrie Connect is having a collab event with Bleach. This is the first time the two have ever collaborated. Popular characters such as Ichigo, Yoruichi, Rukia, and many others make their appearance during this event. Complete the special event Journey to Another World solo to acquire Rukia. In the original story for this event, Death and Connect, it will reward players with collab exclusive rewards, so be sure to play through the event to get all the rewards. For this event, during summons, every third step will be a guaranteed 5 star unit, so good luck to those summoning for the collab exclusive units. It's time for summertime fun on Grand Cross. It's time for Summer Roxy to make her appearance in the game. Let's take a look at what she does. Her passive reads, every time the hero's ultimate move gauge is completely filled, allies gain a one-time invasion to enemies' attacks and debuffs for one turn. Excludes deathmatch. And to help make her passive work more consistently, her first skill is a single target attack that will fill the move gauge by two at gold level, similar to that of Festival Lost by Meliodas and Green Escanor. 
And to add a cherry on top of that cake, she has the same ultimate as the other two Roxies, which will fill the ultimate move gauge by two. Speaking of Lost Vein, Lost Vein Meliodas, the one Escanor, and Purgatory Bond will be receiving new summer exclusive outfits. They will be on sale for money, then for gems in two weeks for only another two weeks after. Lastly, the final boss event for Gloxinia and Droll will be making their way into the game, so be sure to farm the event to acquire both outfits for both commandments. We're not done with summer events yet, as Dragalia Lost has released the second to last summer variant for this year. This time, it's Summer Mim. This unit sent the community into a frenzy. I'll let you figure out why. Summer Mim is a long-range shadow mana caster, and boy is she an amazing unit. Unlike most units, she takes after Belina where she has a drag and drive mechanic. So rather than normally transforming into Brunhilda, she will remain as Mim, but will have her strength increased by 25%, along with the change standard attack that will fill her drag and drive gauge upon connecting with an enemy. And with drag and drive, her skills will change. Outside of drag and drive, her skill 1 will deal damage to surrounding enemies, reduce their defense, inflict shadow blight, and partially fill up the drag and drive gauge. While in the dragon drive state, her skill 1 will consume some of the gauge, will keep the same skill effects, but add in a 100% skill prep upon use of the skill. Her skill 2 will deal damage to enemies in a line and grant the user a strength am. It's time for the next rotation in the Trials of the Mighty event, and this week is the return of Mars, who will grant the convictions and devotions needed to Mana Spiral Yukata Cassandra. Lastly, there are those lucky few who have already won a Scratchathon ticket and have shared the banner information. In this pool, it is every 5 star adventurer that is either a gala or permanent pool adventurer that has been released up to Summer Mim. And that includes Mim. Do remember that even if you do not win a Scratchathon ticket during the event period, all players will receive a free summon on that banner when the event ends. That's all for this week's Gotcha News. I'm your co-host Sly, signing us off here at 5.9 Gaming. Hope you all enjoy the 6th anniversary on Dokkan and have a fantastic weekend.